Welcome back, everybody. Thank you very, very much. Uh, not sure if this shirt sort of fits. I thought it was a bit flamboyant-ish. Uh, it sort of looks a little bit surfery, doesn't it? But it uh, had to be done. I was, um, I was sweating through that rapidly. Anyway, uh, shall we roll on with some music? I hope everyone's all, you know, had a nice little break. Get yourself a cup of, did you? Get yourself a nice, uh, nice slice of cake, a couple of biscuits. What'd you get? Get anything nice? A bit of ice cream? What do people do when they watch me? Huh? What do people eat? What do people drink? Or can they not stomach anything? Is that... <laughs> All right. I, get, I don't know if you're going to know, know this one. This is the Kinks number. This one is called uh, Till the End of the Day. Diane, thank you very much for the bells. Uh, Helen usually has her tea when I'm on. That's nice. <laughs> I'm tea time watching. I love that. My mate Phil, when I when when all the lockdowns were on and everything, my mate Phil, he used to say, um, he used to say that I was the, uh, uh, I was the the EastEnders. Of musical live streams <laughs> on the same time, like every day around that time. Ticket is quite a compliment. Right, let's do this is a this is a peculiar number. I think it's about I think it's about the banking system. That's my theory. That's why it's called The Man Who Sold the World.
I think the first time I probably heard that all the way through was when uh, Nirvana covered it. Um, and uh, they, they, they put their own slant on it, obviously. But, uh, yeah, really, I don't know, there's something, something kind of spooky and sinister in it. Great. Uh, Kelly says, I don't know King Songs. I first heard, um, I first heard, you really got me uh, from Van Halen. Yeah, you know this is the thing. They 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 transcend. <laughs> they transcend the decades and uh, genres as well. All right, this is, I, I, <laughs> I didn't quite, like when I was, when I was young, when I was listening to this, I didn't realize, I, I sort of thought this was on the set, on, on sort of, uh, on par with Dead End Street, like about the sort of the down and outs, but this is about like, uh, someone like who's living the high life and the tax man has come, they base I don't know, you don't really know what they've done, but the tax man's taken all their dough. And this one is called Sunny Afternoon. Tracy says she stopped watching EastEnders because of me. Was that because I rid did I ridicule the EastEnders or was it just because I was on at that time? <laughs> uh, not, not that I, I don't think I influenced anyone to sort of stop watching it. Like, do not watch EastEnders. It's, it's, it's corrupting your little minds. I don't think I did any of that, did I? I mean, I said it was depressing, but why did you stop watching? Was it because I was on at that time, obviously? I'm, I'm assuming, not obviously. All right, this one is called Sunny Afternoon. Sunny afternoon, but I can't. 
I write a lot of songs, but never would I think about writing a song about a dude who's like being fleeced by the tax man. Uh, this is one of Bowie's uh, most famous tunes and also one of his most famous looks. Uh, Trisha's husband. Love that song. Yeah, my, 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 uh, I was very, I was very partial with that one. But like it, it always, it always sort of, I don't know. There was always this like, this between with both of these guys, lot uh, guys, lot whatever, with Bowie and the Kinks, there was this like underlying sort of tension, and so in so much of what they did, you know. I think that's why they they endure. All right, let's do, yeah, this, let's do some Ziggy.
Susie She get paid for time I can't help laughing. I know what's coming next. Um, Jill, thank you so very much for the bells. Lynn, thank you so very much for the bells. Susie, thank you very much for the bells. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'm going to play, I'm going to play uh, a, uh, a song which I have always sort of found pretty funny because Ray Ray Davis, um, he knew, well, he didn't want to write things that were sort of cool, I don't think. I think he sort of like, he found it all sort of quite repellent. Although the Kinks, I thought, I think the Kinks were seen as a bit of a cool band. Um, but at the same time, I think he sort of, there were certain hipsters which he really didn't like. And uh, there was a story, I remember I heard the story that he got into a fight with a guy that was accusing him of wearing flares. And he, this guy kept going, oh, yes, he is wearing flares. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. And Ray Davis was like, look, I'm not wearing flares. All right? I'm not wearing flares. And he goes, and actually in the interview I saw with him, he was like, well, maybe they had a little bit of a flare. I was like, so you kind of were wearing flares. But anyway, but the guy was going, oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes. And he got into a fight with this guy and he got kicked out of this place. And I think he was like really mad, and like he sat, he went into this cafe like late at night or something, something and like sat down and started writing this song, and it became this: the dedicated follower of fashion. And I just want to say, I I understand this completely. I have, I have, I don't think I've ever been like trend like worn trendy stuff been that trendy ever really i remember when i had to get taken shopping by by my bandmates they were like right we're gonna buy you some clothes you are representing us up there that was so funny it's a great day great day <laughs> but once i was taught oh dear Dedicated follower of fashion. Here we go. They seek him here. They seek him there. His clothes are loud, but never square. It will make or break him, so he's got to buy the best. He's a dedicated follower of fashion And when he does His little rounds Of the critiques Of London town Eagerly pursuing All the latest fads and trends Cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion Oh yes he is oh, yes. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. He thinks he is a flower to be 
looks out When he pulls his frilly nylon Panties right up tight He feels a dedicated follower of fashion Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is He's a dedicated follower of that They seek him here They seek him there In Regent Street And Leicester Square Everywhere the combination Army marches on each one A dedicated follower of fashion Oh yes he is This pleasure-seeking individual always looks his best Cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is He fits from shop to shop just like a butterfly of the cloth, he is as thick hell as can be, cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion. He's a dedicated follower of fashion. He's a dedicated follower of fashion. I mean, that's, that's, that's real alchemy, isn't it? When you can still go, ooh, I'm really angry with that person. Get into a fight and then turn it into uh, some of the pace of the beach house. All right. Uh, one, uh, well, I've still got some songs to get through, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plow on with this. Do some more to the blue now. And let's... Uh, Let's play, yes. Let's play Moon Knight's Daydream. I remember, what was it? It was David Bowie's, um, it was his birthday celebration party. And it was, and when he did this, he did this, instead of going, oh yeah, he went, oh yeah. And, that's, and I, I can't unhear it, I have to do it every time. I am an alligator. I'm a mama papa coming for you. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama papa coming for you. I'm a space and
Thank you very much, Diane, for the bells. And thank you very much, Lynn Eisen, for the David Bowie bells. If I'd, have, if I'd have thought ahead, uh, could I have done that one? I don't know if I could have done that one. Something from, uh, what's it? Uh, Labyrinth. I almost said legend. Labyrinth. The babe with the power. The power the babe. The babe with the power. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Right. Few left. Few left for you lot. Right. Oh, this is this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's so mental. I can't I still can't decide. I think it's a bit of both. It's like it's metaphor meets sort of realism. The song is called Plastic Man and it's I when I was little I didn't understand like what a plastic person was, you know, like someone who's fake, someone who's a bit phony, someone you can't really trust. Like that, you know, someone that smiles but you know, you just you know, they're really sad inside or they really don't like you inside, you know, but they're, they're plastic. It's like a metaphor, you know. You guys get it. But how Ray Davis talks about the plastic man in this song uh, really is, it's so, it goes between that he is made of plastic and he's phony. Very strange. But I, I used to love, I just think, I just used to think that the song was about a man made of plastic. And I think that's why I loved it. A man lives at the corner of the street and his neighbours think he's helpful and he's sweet because he never swears and he always shakes you by the hand but no one knows he really is a plastic man. A man lives at the corner of the street He's helpful and he's sweet Cause he never swears and he always shakes you by the hand But now one knows he really is a plastic man He's got plastic heart, plastic teeth and toes
I still don't know. Is he plastic or is he just a phony? I just love it. It's just so mental. So brilliant. I don't know, I'm suffering sweat in my eye. I have a towel. I have the technology. All right, let's... Uh let's get a bit rebellious with Rebel Rebel.
They know your face is a mess. <laughs> All right. The, well, this next one. Thank you very much, everybody. Lynn Nice, thank you very much for the bells. I've got a few more for you. If you can ha if you can handle it. If you can handle it. Almost on time. Almost on time. With the break, it's almost perfectly on time. So, this song is called All Day and All of the Night. It has that signature Kinks riff. It's a great tune. Check it out. Oh, thank you very much for the bells, Diane. Thank you very much for the bells, Diane. I'll throw the, uh, I'll throw your gift up on the next one. All right, uh, right. Well, I've got a couple more. Um, this is my last Bowie number.
And uh, I think I heard, I heard Oasis do a cover of this. Which is why I changed the lyrics ever so slightly. Because uh, it's, it goes, uh, I will be king. And Noah Gallagher saying, and you, you're gonna be my queen. Just a little, little tweet, just a little tweet. All right, this one is called Heroes. And just like that, it was sort of over. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 9.33 and one song to go. I'm going to consider this one. I, I do actually consider this one my encore because uh, um, I, I hadn't planned to do this until, like, last minute, not to mention Lola, which I completely left out, which is so ridiculous. Um, Lynn Eisen, thank you so very much for the bells. 
Uh, thank you very much to everybody um, who supported this evening tonight. Thank you to everyone who's shared the stream around. That's all I ask, everyone. And especially when I put it up on YouTube, do pass the link around because, you know, it does help me. I don't I don't get nothing from, from like, YouTube or anything like that. But, you know, please support me where you can. I really do appreciate you wholeheartedly. Um, you guys are the reason I do this, and you're the reason I stay afloat doing what I do. So thank you very, very, very much for all of what you, uh, you know, all your support that you give to me and all your love. And uh, Annette says she will uh, PayPal after the show. Thank you very much, Annette. Thank you very much to everybody. I know that a lot of these songs are songs that you just don't, you know, you hadn't really heard of before or some of the songs that you might have heard of or just, you know. But either way, I just, I hope that you've had a really good night tonight. I've had, I've had a wonderful night. I've had such a great night. This has been like, this has been like, I don't know, a trip down memory lane and like a, a crazy treat at the same time. Um, this this last song I'm going to play you, uh, I remember when I first heard it. I was just thinking about when I first heard it. I think I first heard it. My dad, I had a, I had, a, I had this little Walkman, and my dad and my dad had a Sony Walkman. Walkman, I've got it somewhere. I'm sure I do. And uh, and and I remember when I first heard this song. We were away somewhere. It was somewhere wet and rainy and stuff but it was just really it's just a really cool time nice uh wet british british summer holiday in the rain <laughs> with my dad and my aunt and i remember listening to this song and uh thinking what is going on who is singing this because my dad was like this is the kinks and i was like this isn't the kinks ray davis's voice sounds weird and ray davis did like to do that he used to do different voices when he sang and this voice was called um, when I sing it now, I find myself feeling I am not a royalist at all, but I do find myself feeling very patriotic for some reason. I don't know if it, it's probably the music or whatever, but I do I do really like this song. It's just it's got a great a great vibe about it. The song is called Victoria. It's about Queen Victoria. And uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it for you as my as my uh as my little encore. So thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for supporting these specials of mine. I do I do put a lot of effort into this. I think I into these specials. I think I put more effort into tonight than most. For for a num for a number of reasons, a number of reasons. But this is a really important night for me tonight. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for um, for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, all your kind words and um, just being being awesome. I will see you all tomorrow night back on my Daniel Lee music page. No rest for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, all I can say is a huge thank you, everyone. Please in the chat, please thank my um, admins. Thank you so much, Lynn Ice and Mom. Thank you very much, Jill. Thank you very much, Dorothy. Thank you, ladies. Honestly, without them, I, I don't even want to think about it. It's giving me, like, heart palpitations already. I don't want to think about it. They they do so much behind the scenes for me. Absolute legendary women. Thank you very much, ladies, for all your help. I know they've helped a lot of you out with, like, technical issues and stuff like that and all kinds of other stuff. Um, and... Uh, yeah, you guys are great. You guys are absolutely wonderful. So thank you so much for all that you do for me. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Before I go, I want to say take care of yourselves, right? Eat well. Do some exercise. Take care of those around you. Stay frosty, everybody. My name is Daniel Lee. This has been my David Bowie versus the Kinks special. Take care of yourselves and have yourselves a very, very, very good night. This song is called Victoria.
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here tonight. Paula, thank you so very much for the bells. Everyone, thank you so very much for your support. Thank you for being here tonight. It's been a very, very personal, personal favorite of mine and very, very special. So thank you all for being here. Take care of yourselves. Uh, I'll leave it in the capable hands of Dot. Take care of yourselves. Have a very, very, very good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.